there will never be another one like me. In addition to the esteemed honor of being able to play the the late Aretha Franklin in this limited series, you've actually gotten to meet her. She's seen you perform, whether it was the Kennedy Center Honors in 2016, when you sung The Impossible Dream. Or when you performed on stage for The Color Purple. Since you were able to meet her, what is something that you learned from Ms. Franklin that you've taken in your career, in your life? So having met her and then having done this project, played her, I learned that she was unafraid to stand up for the thing that she believed that she was that she was deserving of. To be a black woman in the music industry is a tough thing and it takes a lot of courage to ask for what you deserve. And she did that. She was not afraid to ask for her production rights. She was not afraid to be to ask to be credited in the way she deserved to be credited. And I learned that from her, to be honest. I learned that um, I can ask for the things that I deserve without being afraid. That's really helped, to be honest. It really has, because I'm about to embark on my own music career, but up until this point, uh, even when I'm doing live performances, I ask for the thing I need. I was given almost like the permission to do it by by learning about what Aretha was able to do. And that's very important, especially, right? It's Black women. Exactly. And in a, in a creative sense, you know, she had this beautiful way of communication through song and tell a story through it and communicate a feeling and emotion and experience and it taught me to do that really that's i knew that i didn't just want to sing songs i wanted to be a storyteller with them so when i write when i sing it really isn't about just the tune of the song or sounding great on a song it really is about telling you the story and help it, hoping that you can come with me on that journey Speaking of this story, right, this is a very significant story. And of course, there's been like this ongoing conversation about Black British actors playing Black American roles. So actually, I wanted to ask you specifically, what place uh, do you believe that Black British people in history have in Black history as a whole? We all have a connective tissue in that our, our melanin comes from somewhere. We are based in Pangea, we're past, part of the, the African diaspora, diaspora. And so we all have different stories to tell, but it is a connective space that we all live in. And so hopefully the things that inspire you also inspire me as a black woman. When I walk into a room and if neither one of us speaks, no one knows that we're from different places until we open our mouths. At that point, it's too late, you know? We already have judgments. People have prejudgments about what we can and cannot do or what we do. What we, how we are and what kind of people we are without even really having to say anything. And so I think there just has to be a conversation and an understanding of the spaces that we live in and the, the things that we go through to learn that we actually have more in common than, than not. 